Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Now that I made my clarification video about the Sharia Law March thing and my night clothes with my hair all over my head like Doc from Back to the Future while bursting into Purple Rain by Prince, I thought that I would bring it down a notch and just do a regular normal video for the morning brought to you by... Flowers. Blue something. Let's call them blue bonnets just for the sake of this and we can relate it to Texas, a state in which I lived for 10 years. And I really liked it. i got to be honest with you. I liked living in Houston. A lot of people associate it with like a certain branch of politics, but I found a lot of um, just free thinking, free loving individuals during our orgies. I'm sure. I'm kidding. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, it's supposed to be family friendly. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, the reason I'm coming at you is I listen to... I like to try to recommend documentaries and such, and I don't even really know the name of this one, but uh, last night on my way to sleep, I listened to something fascinating, and um, it was about sort of the buried history of the um, of Native Americans here on this continent and why it was buried. Uh, I don't remember, like, the total particulars in terms of the title... But uh, there was a gentleman interviewed, and he used to be the curator, is that the right word, curator of the uh, Smithsonian Institute, and clearly was very, uh, like, scientific and all that jazz had background. But he never heard of a lot of this either, nor did some of the Native Americans. And it has to do with the basic, like, basic? What the heck? The basic, um, well, the structures, not any more basic fit into this, that they found kind of all over the land here. I know there were a lot in my area because there's a gentleman around here that does, he's an archaeologist, I think it is, and goes around and explains what the heck. So there are these mounds, like the mound people, and I guess they, they link to the Iroquois Nation, which was also instrumental in our um, founding documents, the Iroquois Nation. Um, yeah, so at any rate, what they did, uh, okay, you've heard of Manifest Destiny. It was our uh, American exceptionalism idea that uh, we had sort of a divine right to uh, move westward and to spread uh, probably Christianity and just the love of us throughout the land without regard for the natives. And I've heard before about them being, you know, called savages and things like that. Of course, I disagree totally, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God, if anyone was enlightened, it's the Native Americans, natives of all land, in my opinion, and all lands. Um, but they literally, how did they explain it in this documentary? They had to make it um, socially acceptable for um, basically to steal these the lands of these people and kind of erase their history. And so they, they literally came up with the conclusion that they were savages and they weren't really human. They were kind of subhuman. That's what happens all the time with any, when any... Uh, population wants to run over another one they um justify it in their minds by claiming they're subhuman uh that they're somehow um, heathens and that kind of thing but this was almost codified i didn't know that and that's how it was more acceptable to those doing it or to the generation generation the population at large boy i can't speak today i'm like sarah palin with word salad um yeah, so that's what they did. They were like, I guess the bottom line is they were, uh, the natives were uh, some almost legally uh, recognized as um, savages. Crazy. At any rate, it's very fascinating. I'm sure you could find it. I could look for it and plunk it down here in the comment section. But um, something about uh, the hidden history of the Native Americans. And it really relates to the Iroquois tribe quite a bit. And they have a really interesting creation story that also kind of ties in with that Anunnaki thing. Not necessarily the Anunnaki's, but some space word creatures, travelers, ancient astronauts, whatever you want to call them, that had a hand in this whole scenario. And they these were the ones that had the turtle, you know, they... um a woman on top of a turtle kind of symbolism for the creation. You know where that comes from? I never knew that either until this doc. Yeah, I think this documentary might have been one before it. Is when you look at a... Well, when the aerial view of North America, I guess, put them in the mind of a turtle. Like, the Mexican part would be one of its legs, and Florida would be one, and it's kind of on its side. But how would they know that unless it was given to them by some 
traveler from another, from the space realm, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's all. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you. Thoughts of the day.